Hello, Year 9. Um, I hope you're enjoying this sunny day. Um, I'm sitting out in the quad, and it's nice and quiet. The chickens must be having a siesta at this time. Um, I'm here to talk to you about the electives options cycle, uh, which you'll start next year. Um, it's a three-year cycle, which will help you to develop all sorts of skills, which will enable you to get into a top university when you go through the UCAS application program process in year 12. Um, it's about enrichment, it's about challenge, it's de about developing skills and knowledge to go to a top university and to help you thrive at Newstead and to look after your physical, mental and spiritual well-being. I've also attached the electives options booklet which you can have a read through at your leisure. But the thing to remember is that we're much more than an exams factory here. Yes, we'll get you the good grades you need, your eights and nines, your A's and A stars at A level, but you also need to develop all the wraparound skills, employability skills, leadership skills, higher order thinking skills, research skills, which will help you to um, carry out um, the higher level qualifications such as the EPQ, the gold award uh, for CREST, and all sorts of other opportunities in our sixth form. Now, if you read the electives booklet, you will see that we have Block A, which is all about sporting opportunities. Now, in Year 10, the Block A options run on Fridays, period four, and there are a huge range of really interesting um, activities you can get involved in, volleyball, football, dodgeball, bench ball, table tennis, and also fencing, which is an amazing opportunity. Um, Kate Neve, um, an international fencer, comes in to run that for us. And some new students who opted for fencing did the course and loved it so much that they've gone on to take part in county competitions, represent Kent. Um, so a really fantastic option. Remember, the electives is all about stepping out of your comfort zone, trying new things, and broadening your horizons. Um, as well as the sporting activities, we also offer IGCSE Environmental Management, which is run by Mr. Byrne, a one-year course, which will be Friday period four for the three terms. It's the same as a twilight course, so there is a payment there, they're 220 pounds, and you must have opted for geography and biology, but a great opportunity to develop both your science and your geography. And also, we've got Reading Group with our fantastic new librarians. Um, but with both of these two academic electives, it's really important that you opt for the multi-gym and fitness or high-performance sport and music option to make sure you complement those academic electives. Just moving on to Block B, academic electives, again, there's a fantastic range of high-level opportunities for you to take part in. Um, we really value um, opportunities to develop your knowledge and thinking skills above and beyond specifications uh, in year 10 and 11, which is great preparation for A-level study. So there's fantastic opportunities in STEM development. You've got prep and research and analysis for the medics, dentists, and vets course, which is run by Mrs. Sword and Mr. Blount helping you to look at the ethics of medicine, science, looking at interesting pieces of research that come to the fore, and then moving into year 11 and 12, the UCAS application process for veterinary science, medicine, dentistry, BMAP practice, all sorts of really exciting things. With your maths, Enigma maths and problem solving will really help to stretch your mathematical understanding in a fun and uh, interesting way. Lots of opportunities there to develop higher mathematical skills as well. Um, in year 10, we also offer the Crest Silver Award, which links in nicely to the Science Expo work you did this year. And hopefully you'll be able to do active scientific research to help you gain that award and add to your um, CV. Also, outreach work with our local primaries, Darick, Tubbenden, um, We've also got St. James's and um, Warren Road. 
And as well as that, we've got Marjorie McClure placements where you can work with students with learning difficulties, um, which is a really, really good um, placement for you um, to develop all sorts of skills. Remember, Newstead is also about, also about making a difference uh, in our local community and beyond. Um, a fantastic option for film and photography, learning all about um, camera angles, the art of taking great pictures, and uh, finally, there's a study period for those of you who need to do a bit of a catch-up session or are studying extra twilight subjects. So please read through the booklet really carefully. Everything's in there you need. And there'll also be a link for an online spreadsheet through forms, which you'll just need to click on to ensure that you give me your favorite option. So if, if you give me a one, I'll know that that's something you really want to do and then going down to five, which is your least preferred option. But it's important to remember that there is supply and demand and you might not get everything you want to get with your elective choices. So I'm hoping to get all your choices in by Friday the 3rd of July. Then I'll timetable it all for you and hopefully you'll know by the end of this term which electives you'll get in the autumn term. We might have to be a little bit flexible in the autumn term. We're not quite sure how it's all going to pan out, um, but we are thinking ahead and we're going to map out the whole process um, from September through to July. So there'll be the three terms of elective options, but there may be a slightly slower start at the beginning. So if you have any questions, please email me and I'll try and clarify them for you. Have a really good look through the booklet and I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks very much for listening.